Greetings Earthlings, welcome to the channel. Uh, just wanted to let you know this video is for your entertainment purposes only. I bought these patches on eBay. You can also get a set pretty cheap. I am not a backyard guy, I'm actually a front yard guy. And we are working on a 2012 BMW 328. You'll notice no stupid intro music or no BS. We're gonna get right to it like we normally do. So forget subscriptions with those other channels. You need to like and subscribe right here, guys. All right, so this engine has 75,000 miles on it. It has an A1 service history. Like literally every 5,000 new oil changes were done with uh, high quality oil and filters. And yet it still rattles on startup. This is an inevitable failure on these engines where they start rattling with the timing chain guides. It's a faulty guide design um, and also a faulty tensioner design, which contributes to the guides failing. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at some stuff we've got on the bench. First of all, it calls for zero W20, but being that we're a little bit up there in the miles, we're gonna go up to five W30. And this car is also in a hot location. It's the Euro car formula. It does meet the BMW long life specifications. Here is the part number for the new tensioner we got. And here is the new crush washer. Make sure you get the old one off the engine, which by the way, the engine must be completely cold to do this job. Then you wanna take the new tensioner, fully submerge it in engine oil, use something that you cleaned up and pump it a couple times to get the air out of it. There is a check valve inside and I suspect that over time that check valve leaks down so then when you go to start it up the next morning, there's not enough oil pressure there to keep the tension on the chain. Okay, moving on. Let me show you how we tested them. First of all, here's the old part number versus the new part number. Just looking at the last few digits, you can see that there's a big difference in this part number and it's been revised three times from my understanding. And there they are right next to each other. If you look at the oil hole down here, you will see that on the new one, the oil hole is on the taper and it is much larger than the old one, okay? You will also notice that on the output side, it's smaller, which will mean it would retain more pressure, thereby acting more forcefully on the chain, all right? Same thing here, okay? And it wouldn't be as easy for it to drain back. Also, I noticed there's some wear on the shaft, okay? Obviously, this one's new, there's not gonna be any wear. And I also noticed that when this was filled with oil and I pushed it down that I got some leaking out of here and a lot leaking by here and some coming out of the hole up there. So over time, they do wear like that. All right. Then what I did is I put each one on the scale and I pushed down and I got readings on each one. And I also measured the length. I want to show you guys that. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I don't have a lot of time left in the video, but... You can see it's really hard to do, but I've got over 30 pounds on that new one. And the old one is very little compared to that. Here it is right here. 22 pounds on the old one. The difference was 12 pounds. And also the difference in length. The new one is 1.31 millimeters longer. Like, subscribe, comment, guys. Try it at your own.